Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how I did this vibrant tropical makeup and I hope you all enjoy. The first shade I'm using is a pressed pigment shadow from Colourpop in the colour Tiki on a fluffy blending brush and I'm applying this above my crease and blending it upwards towards my brow. I'm then taking the shade I owe you from Colourpop on the same brush and blending it in with the yellow shade. I'm applying Sandbar from Colourpop where my crease is and then going back in with the orange. I'm doing this multiple times until there are no harsh lines and the colours are blended together flawlessly. Next I'm using the Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place and I'm putting Zobo on my lid using the NARS 14 brush. I'm then adding Makita on top and because I want the darkest colour to be extremely vibrant I'm also going to use my finger to pat on the shadow. I'm then cleaning up any fallout from the eyeshadows using a makeup wipe. For foundation, I am using my Revlon Colorstay in the shade 250 on a damp beauty blender and then applying the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in medium 30 under my eyes. I then set my under eyes with the translucent mineral finishing powder from Revlon and then using the Zoeva 106 brush I'm dusting this powder all over my face as I want my skin to have a matte finish. Using my Thin Lizzy 6-in-1 powder, I'm going to only contour my nose, as I am going to contour my cheekbones with eyeshadow instead. Using the MAC 168 brush, I'm starting off with the colour Tiki and using it to contour my cheeks as well as applying it to my whole forehead. I'm then going in with IOU and applying it on my cheekbones and my forehead but I'm leaving a space in the middle of my forehead with no orange shadow on it. Next I'm taking sandbar and applying it on top of the orange and only using it to contour a small amount. Lastly, I'm applying small amounts of Zobo and Makita at a time around the edges of my face and blending it into my hairline.
I'm using the fluffy blending brush to apply more shadow where needed so that the colours stand out more. I'll also use this brush to add more of the purple to my hairline as it is much easier to do this with a small brush than with my contouring brush. Using the Zoeva 230 brush, I'm applying the orange, pink and purple shades to my lower lash line. Using my Thin Lizzy eye pencil, I'm going to mark out where I want the palm tree and the fern to go. This pencil is really good for this as it has a very creamy consistency, which does not tug on my skin and makes it easy to draw with. I'm then filling in the outline of the tree using a black liquid liner, as well as very carefully drawing the leaves on the palm tree. I would highly recommend using a liquid liner instead of a gel liner for this step as you can press a lot lighter and have cleaner lines with a liquid liner. Now it's time for brows, and I'm using the ColourPop Precision Brow Colour in Black and Brown on the NARS 38 brush. I'm then creating a starry effect by drawing small dots on my face using the NYX White Liquid Liner. I'm then doing winged eyeliner and applying mascara to my top and bottom lashes.
These false lashes are my all time favourites, another style ruby from Lash Bear. I want all of the attention to be on the top half of my face, so I've chosen a very neutral lipstick to go with this look. This lipstick is the Colour Midi from Colourpop. This is the finished look and I had so much fun creating it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.